There ain't nothing for me to do except show you the first few clips of this video. My breasts are currently 6,640 cc's. Ah, yes. The video that won democracy. The video about the lady who won't stop enlarging her breasts. Yes, yes. I'm glad that this is what the internet has requested I, FPSDs, will talk to when I give you the option amongst other things. No, there's only important things going on. Like, did you guys know that the woman who worked with Jeffrey Epstein not only isn't in jail, uh, but actually sued one of the victims for defamation? Yeah, uh-huh. It's totally like she definitely is an accomplice to one of the most prolific pedophiles of all time. Or how about the very real possibility that Kevin Spacey in the last couple months may or may not have had a person uh, whacked? Yes, did you know that the woman who worked with Jeffrey Epstein actually took real 101 Dalmatians, put them in a blender, and force-fed them to African children saying that she was going to help? Excuse me, I'm getting a bit off topic. It's just that, you know, there's all these awful people out there that definitely deserve it. Uh, so I just want to give them their little time in the sun uh, because, you know, that's the only way that this is ever going to get covered. Anybody notice how none of that stuff ever got covered in the news? Yeah, no, just me? Okay. Boobs. A double Z cup in the U.S. And they're still growing. So we're going to find out very quickly that this is kind of sad and that this story with this lady is kind of sad. So before we get to that, allow me to get all the jokes out of the way and get all those things out. You know, just ring out, milk this breast. That's one joke, we'll put one on the clock. When her breasts fully mature and ripen, they actually snip those off and put them into the water, turning them into the buoys, so that way boaters can notice what is a low depth water. What the fuck does that even mean? Like, there was a joke there, but then it just got lost in the fact that I never learned how to speak English. No hablo inglés, hablo español. Uh, mi amo diesel. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, her breasts are so big that she can't do normal people things. Like, imagine if you decided to go cooking. Like, you you set yourself on fire. <laughs> what if you try to do a normal thing, like go on a roller coaster? You can't. The wind resistance from your breast would actually stop the ride. Or how about other things, like perhaps your breast would get in the way of doing things that are very normal, like put on a seatbelt. No, you know what I really love about plastic surgeons? It's that while other doctors have morals and things they won't do, you know, do no harm, you know, to execute wise judgment and be, you know, good at their jobs, Plastic surgeons are just like, fuck it, this person's having a bad day? Eh, give them lip fillers, you know, it's just like getting a haircut. You know, uh, oh, they're having a bad day? Oh, give, give them a butt lift. Well, I don't care. I'm getting like fucking $800 worth of this $1,800 like a thing, like. From there, it's gonna depend on how my skin is handling it. My name is Foxy and I have 6,640 cc breast. You know what I love about Hooked on a Look? It tries to present these things that are very clearly unhealthy obsessions as like, oh, look at these people expressing themselves. It's great. I love when people express themselves. But it's very clear <laughs> that sometimes these people on Hooked on a Look are hurting. So tell me, Barcroft, are you doing it for the good of mankind? Because I'm sitting here from my chair in my uh, wooden warped tower and I'm saying it's not. You're doing it because you know these people are weird and you think it's good money. Inside each side, so each boob, there's a port. You get, there's a hose or a line. You're able to hook this up to your saline bag. You end up using a needle hooked on the line. You have about if, if if you get if you get ports, if you get like a USB port implanted in your breast. You, you might have gone too far with the idea of implanting. I, I, I think, you know, you get one implant and you're like, oh man, I got, I got some extra size on me. And then you're like, oh, this is great. The, the boys are gonna love this. The girls are gonna love this. Everybody's gonna be so jealous of my gravity-defying breasts. Right, that's fine, that's whatever. But when you start to get basically what is functionally similar to a beach ball implanted in your glands, in your memories, yeah, there might be a problem there. You get, there's a hose or a line. You're able to hook this up to your saline bag. You end up using a needle hooked on the line. You have about the diameter of a quarter. 
to be able to fit that needle into otherwise you pop and you go sailing across the ceiling. I can't believe a doctor approved this. This seems incredibly dangerous and unsafe. Like I, I'm sitting here and I'm just wondering like what kind of doctor, I don't care what kind of field you have to work in, like you gotta go to school to become a plastic surgeon. You gotta learn about things. You gotta actually be intelligent, assumedly. I assume that a lot of people just coast their way through medical school. You can't just go to the store and buy some breast implants. You know, there had to be a doctor that approved this. And honestly, look, they shouldn't be fucking approving shit like this. I, I don't know where the hell they get off, but I don't think that's okay. Like Foxy, which her name is Foxy, by the way. I don't, I don't think that's her real name. People aren't born Foxy. Cause if you're born Foxy, you, you're a stripper. But it's like, yeah, oh, she's got breasts. They're big, they're weird. Oh, ain't she weird? But like, what, like how did this happen? Like, we're, we're busy looking at how weird she is, but like, how did this happen? I don't have a goal set in mind for what size my breasts are gonna go. I had 2,000 cc shells put in. You, you already hit your goal. I don't think you can get much bigger than that. I'd honestly be worried about going any bigger. I, I think there's a legitimate, like there's already a health risk associated with plastic surgery like this to begin with, you know? But like, now we're really approaching super dangerous territories. Like, if your implants or things that you get to augment your body actively impede normal everyday functions that used to be normal and easy to perform, then yeah, may maybe it's gone too far. Why, again, like why isn't anybody saying, hey, hey lady, stop. That never happens. That never fucking happens in these. It, it didn't happen with Ollie London. It hasn't happened with any other person that got surgery or did plastic surgery on these shows. They're always just like, hey, you know, it's her life. She, she can do whatever she wants. It's like, what, have, has anybody thought of having like an intervention, like a real intervention? Not like Dr. Phil intervention, like ac actually people taking responsibility for the people they love in their life. I am so close to 7,000 cc's. From there, it's gonna depend on how my skin is handling it. You know, I've been having a real personal internal conflict about videos and doing videos like these. And this is why, right? Because while it's weird and it's crazy, and her nipples are probably the size of dinner plates. Well, they're all, those are all realities. And you know, I love comedy and I love cracking wise. And I believe if you put something online, people have free reign to say what they want because you put it publicly online. On the other hand, I wanna like take these people and go, fucking stop. Nice to know I can scratch my ass in private and do all my weird shit. Like look at malefeetpics.com, which is a real website by the way. <laughs> And nobody will judge me, but no, 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 no. The second I say I'm a feet aficionado in public, people are gonna be like, whoa, whoa, we gotta get the camera crew down there. I'm not a feet guy, by the way. I think feet are fucking weird. They're like little alien toe cocks. So for the people that are into feet, I don't get it. That's like being in the pans. Like, how do you wake up in the morning and go, man, I love the sausage shape of that man's fingers. I think I'm gonna take a picture of it and make sure that I pledge myself to it later. That's what it sounds like. It's like looking at somebody's elbows and going, man, I love the way that, the, that it needs like some serious moisturizing. A lot to get me to this point. And it's also taken a lot of my friends to be able to help me achieve this look. Friends like Margaret, who's going to come over today and do fillers, without her, I wouldn't have the same look. Honey, Margaret's not your friend. Margaret's not your friend. I, you, you pay Margaret for those fillers? Let me guess, she's a, she's a surgeon as well, right? She's a doctor, she works in that field. Because there's no way that she just walked into a fucking Riot Aid and got some fillers. Come on here, come on. Like, uh, imagine having a friend who sticks around and is your friend because you're a paying customer. Like, she might, Margaret might as well be your drug dealer. Would you ever get surgery done like this? For myself? Yeah. Um, well, the question is, um, it's me personally, I prefer small. <laughs> it's the preference. The Barcroft producer just called Margaret here in a, in a bit of an oopsie. <laughs> that was a, that was a hard hitting question, believe it or not. She now has to sit here and go, huh, how do, how do I say this without being insulting to my friend? If you wouldn't do it to yourself, why are you so adamant about doing it for other people? 
You know, it's like, it, maybe I'd get lip fillers. I'd feel comfortable with it. But no, Margaret says, I'm not comfortable with it. I prefer smaller. <laughs> Margaret's not comfortable with it. Europe, and um, I had it fixed. And at the same time, I'm a value shopper. So for the same price, I was able to get expanders and make my boobs grow even bigger. Oh my God. If your boobs leaking, don't shop for value. Shop for help my boobs leak. Honestly, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker, look at this dude. <laughs> Y'all too happy, man. You were, way, you were way too happy to be taking a picture with her, dude. <laughs> Yo, all these people get some fake as fuck friends. If I get some stupid surgery done, I don't want my friends to be like, Diesel, you look like a tool. Like, you, you look like, you look like a sex doll. Okay, like, what are you doing? Like, all these people are sitting here being like, oh, she's, she's gorgeous. You know, it's not for me. It's not my thing. I'm not into that. But like, you know, she's go she's gorgeous, you know, I, I, I'll support her no matter what she wants to do. It's like, w w nice to know that we'll just support people to do anything, even if it means they're gonna destroy themselves. Okay, I can't, I can't watch any more of this because clearly I can't crack wise about this. I, I just can't. I can't bring myself to do it. I, I'm just not in the mood. I'm not in the headspace for it. Fucking, it's just not there. But like, that dude that divorced her did a fucking number, I'll say that. Um, but I, I just can't believe that people are like, Hey, yeah, go let her do it, eh, whatever, you know, fine, eh, whatever. I don't know, I've been in a pretty uh, serious headspace, at least for videos. I've been pretty knee deep in, in schoolwork, if everybody's noticed, the videos kind of slowed down for a bit. And uh, I've got a pretty big investigative piece coming out in the next couple weeks. Um, or next week or two, um, soon, really soon. Um, so I've been kind of in a, a very uh, serious headspace and thinking a lot about different things and where I want to take the channel. Uh, I want to get back to doing comedy videos. I really just want to do that for a little bit. But when this story came across my desk, I wanted to commit myself to it because I realized there was a level of importance associated with it um, and that it would require my attention because otherwise the story would die. Um, so in the next couple of days, you might actually see that, um, but I'll, I'll keep you posted. Um, but I said I'd do the boob video. That's it, get out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah,